Stand name, Tattoo You! The same symbol is drawn on the back of the 11 men. They're able to travel through each other's marks. The 11 team members all share this one stand ability. Wait, so it's a. Oh, I thought it was just one dude splitting up into a bunch of said, other dudes. said 11 team, but then I saw. I thought. I thought you like said 11 wrong and you said like 11 team. <laughs> There is probably a leader of the uh, of the team. Okay, go okay. Oh, what the fuck! All right, all right, come on. Yeah, get, uh, get it. Uh, come on. Gyro. All right, you suck. You suck. Back. No, we ain't even start until you get that right. <laughs> Gyro. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Oops. Oopie. Oopie. Stop it. One guy from Rick and Morty in prison when all the other inmates want to stick their pickle ricks in his poopy butthole. What am I right. supposed to do? <laughs> what should I do? We used everything. We used all the money that we got from the spring. And now we have to give up these two corpse parts as well? My only hope in life, I put my life on the line in order to get these. And now they're telling me I have to give this up as well? Oh, God. <laughs> I I don't want to. I entered this race and came all the way here, and for what? And how would I even go about getting rid of these? I don't want to do it. Right now, there's nothing wrong with me right now. The only one that's being turned into a tree is Gyro. Only Gyro. Oh, Johnny! <gasps> Sorry? Hey? Uh, I'm sorry, Jiro. You asshole! <laughs> ah! What a bitch! <laughs> ah! They failed. Those two, too. I thought that those two would be able to end the curse on this spring. I thought that we'd be able to leave this forest, all of us together. How disappointing. <laughs> Once a person becomes a tr part of the tree, another can leave. That means that my guardian role... As guardian is done! I wonder how long until someone comes. It's mommy and <laughs> daddy's turn to keep water next. Well, that's, well it uh, doesn't we'll seem that all. way. My darling daughter, Sugar. <gasps> Daddy! Mommy! Why do they look like that? <laughs> that man's fruit is getting smaller. He's shrinking back and returning to where he came back from. It must be over now. They used everything up. We can finally leave. Hit. <laughs> Sob. Oh, uh. it's pooping him out. <laughs> uh. Uh. Uh, uh Hick. <laughs> Are you planning planning to finish me off here? The moment I get on my horse. Are you planning to shoot me from behind? Uh, just go, go back to the president, and bring those two corpse parts with you. And if you show your face to me ever again, I'll finish you off right then and there. This is the end of our deal. Ugh. Ugh. Ag. You gave it to him? The corpse parts. You handed them over to the last guy left? No. The rules were to use them up. I traded them. So I exchanged them. With this open bottle of wine. Johnny. Bro traded an arm of, like, Jesus for wine. <laughs> this is all I can do for these patients, Jiro. We only have enough blood for one person right now. It's impossible for us to save both of them. We need to choose. The mother or her son. We can only save one. What kind of bullshit that scenario? Aren't uh, these guys uh, funded by the government? Should we transfer yeah. the mother's tissues to the child, or should we give them the mother the child's tissues? 
We have to choose one or the other in order for one of them to survive or else both of them will die. The mother or the child. Gyro, you must have to choose which one to save. What? F -f Father? Hurry up and choose! I'll do, I'll do the procedures! Father, there must be a way to save both of them. There must be. We need to try. There might be. A miracle may occur if we make that attempt. But we have no right to endanger our patients in that way. We don't have much time, Gyro. Hurry and choose! We shall let the woman's husband choose. The husband is waiting outside in the hall. Do you think that if you save the mother, that she can have another child? Or do you think that the son being the sole successor is more important? To leave this in the opinions of a man. Listen, Gyro. During the sport of tennis, <laughs> what? there may be a time when the ball hits the net. Which side of the net will the ball fall on? That is something no one can know. That is the realm of that is it is the realm of God. Which side will it fall on? That decision is within the realm of infinity. Can this decision really be made right now on the basis of one man's opinion? Don't tell him. It's better that he knows nothing. So choose, Gyro. This is our family's obligation and duty. Duty. Sugar! Come on! Use everything. Those two, they're left with nothing now. What? But, but those what are losing <laughs> willing to. They're the ones that ultimately gain everything. That's the one thing I've come to understand since I've been guarding the spring. That's the truth. And for those two who have earned that right. Holy moly. The snow is falling pretty hard now. Do you want a drink, Jaira? We do have to get rid of the thing, too. Yeah, maybe. It'll warm us up a little, huh? Yeah, the sun's about to set. Hey, how about we make a toast before we get our horses? So what? We've lost everything. How about a toast to the ball that hit the net? What do you mean? Don't like it? Then to the next corpse part. The next part, huh? That's good. I like it. To the next part and to the goal. To the next part and to the goal. I don't understand what's happening. <coughs> Sorry, I was uh, just drinking my water to make sure it was realistic. The outskirts of Chicago, and about two kilometers outside of town, Lake Michigan. I shouldn't have suggested waiting on this bridge. I feel like my entire body is freezing up in this world. How goes the world of racing, Mr. Diego Brando? My horse's condition is getting better and better, it seems. Have we met before? Don't look like a member of the race. You need not to be concerned with my world. Yesterday we gained possessions. Pos Can I fucking read? Possession of both ears and the right arm. There you go. In short, you got rid of the Johnny Joe Star and the Gyro Zebley. No. Regardless of that, it seems like both of them, their worlds, were able to escape. So we've nothing to do but leave them. They might be able to find the next corpse part for us in the next stage's world. But in any case, the reason I came here is to make sure that you're holding true to your promise. We need you to tell us about the traitor that's within our ranks. On that stormy night right before our fourth stage goal in Kansas City. You know who it was that met with Zebuli and Joestar, do you not? This information is in a world that is most important to us. You were able to identify the traitor by the tracks, yes? Yeah. I forgot about that. 
That was my promise, wasn't it? Although the Sandman's failure was disappointing. There's no use in concealing it. I guess the person is a woman who weighs less than 51 kilograms. The traitor is a woman. There's... there's, there's a, this should be good enough for you. How can you say for certain that it is a woman? I do not know any woman who has the ability to ride 50 kilometers in one night on horseback. And you can include smaller men or someone <laughs> an elderly in your list of possibilities whenever you want. I probably don't have to tell you this, but it's 51 kilograms, including clothing and any luggage. I'm telling you that I know this because the prince, I don't know who it is, but it was a woman that rode with Johnny Joestar that night, so we should be even regarding our trade. Humph. Hope your world has a good time looking for her. World. <laughs> it's a world that I, Diego Brando, have no involvement in. Crash. <laughs> <laughs> it's not, no! That's not possible! <laughs> That's impossible! The traitor is a woman. <laughs> no woman could gain entrance into the government building in Kansas City. That is what I informed Dio. But perhaps the traitor involved in the world of stands? That's impossible as well. Seeing how the traitor had to ask Mountain Tim for assistance in escaping this building. I've run a background check on Mountain Tim's acquaintances for hints, but I haven't found anything relevant. I understand. I created a, a hypothetical list of possible enemies. There were approximately 1,364 members of our government race staff and their families present that day in Kansas City. And within that number, I've reduced the possible suspect to 282 based on the weight restriction of 51 kilograms, 147 females, and 135 males. This is the corresponding data file. Hmm. I thought that it was impossible, but if that Dio insists that it was a woman, that might be the case. Alright, I've made a decision. Continue investigating on the premise that this traitor is a woman. She must be in some sort of insider. Investigate in the the woman in this file. Also, this woman must know the arts of reading lips. Though it would be impossible to interrogate all 147 of these women listed. I would like to know both the identity and motive of the traitor before we dispose of her. You are planning to capture her, Maiko. <laughs> Because by name, Mike O. Mike O. <laughs> Mike O. Yeah, it, it's it's like Mike O. I'm gonna call him Mike O. Okay. By using this, this telephone, the intruder in Kansas City used this telephone to call Mountain Tim for help before he or she escaped. I took the liberty of bringing this here to you. Bro is making water balloons. <laughs> water balloons? Can you, are you gonna make a dog? Can, can you what make do you a dog? Water balloons. <laughs> this is just a balloon. You gotta make the sound. You gotta make the sound though. Oh my god, you actually made a fucking dog! Oh my god. <laughs> That's funny. No, the dog! This nail has now memorized the scent of the one who last placed a call on this telephone. It will now attack the woman who sent. <laughs> what kind of bullshit ass ability? Getting attacked by the fucking fucking dog. <laughs> Match the matches the one that it has just memorized. That is the world in which my balloon dogs tubular bells operate. <laughs> And if this dog invades said traitor's body, I'm <laughs> getting killed by fucking balloon animals. My president, permission to execute the traitor if found? 
<laughs> Bo ran out of breath making the dogs. <laughs> Fine. Mission granted if that means that execution is the only way to figure out the traitor's identity. <laughs> Mr. Steel. Oh, what uh, the fuck? <laughs> I've been persistently called by the government uh, officials to answer these bizarre questions. Bizarre. Did, did something happen? On that day, before the end of the Kansas City stage, they've been asking if we went to town that night and where our wives and daughters were that night. Also, if we really weigh less than 51 kilograms and if we know anyone that can read lips. It's been two weeks since that night and they're still asking us all these questions about it. Have I done anything against the law without knowing it, I wonder? Have you? Uh, of course not. I have no idea where any of this is coming from. I haven't been informed of any of this, the Kansas City stage. Are you thinking about that night when the storm hit? Yes, that's the one. No one could have left town during such a terrible storm. Hmm. There are many things about this country that I don't know. I don't think it's anything serious, don't worry, but I'll look into it, just in case. Lucy, I'm going to stop by the racing office for a bit. Can you get uh, uh, can you get to the hotel from the library on your own? You know, because you're 14 years old and I don't know if you can do that. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Of course. Come back to me soon. <laughs> <laughs> Took a lot of energy, huh? I would feel that way too if I kissed that man. At the age of 14. No! It can't be! It can't be! They're searching! They're looking for me! <laughs> Weighs less than 51 kilogram. Wife and daughter can read lips. How could have they found out? They'll find me. They might be coming for me at this very moment. They'll, they'll catch me. Ah. If you swore your love to him when you married him, then protect him. <laughs> ah. Ah. <laughs> Listen, you have to do this. You have to steal the heart from the president. You have to be the one to do that. Mr. S I, 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 uh, sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. If you hold this right eye near his chest, even if you don't have a stand ability, that should be enough for you to take, his, uh, take the heart. It's now or never, Mrs. Steele. Oh. My fault. My Go fault. kill yourself! I'm sorry! If you don't. You and your husband will both be killed. Jesus! Oh! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Flinch! <laughs> 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 well, I don't have much time. They're gonna come for me. <laughs> Excuse me. I am looking for several <laughs> books that are listed on this card. Do you have them? The sign of four. She's secret engagement. Kitties! I don't know if I'm allowed to show that. <laughs> oh my! The sex! <laughs> the sex! It's the all sex. here in this book, the sex! Oh, Mrs. Stan! Your name was Lucy, was it? Ah, uh, that is correct, yes. The promoter of the Steel Ball Run race, Mr. Steel's young wife, yes? Her is 15, 14-year-old wife. I met you uh, at a party once, right? Oh, how do you know? Oh, no, no. Please, sit down. What are you doing here? Ah, uh, just in the middle of a little walk. I was resting. Oh, my. <laughs> That's the sign of four. That's the newest installment in the Sherlock Holmes series, isn't it? It's just- it just came out! What a coincidence! I absolutely adore that book! I just reserved it from the library and read it a few days ago. Oh, please, don't tell me how it ends. I'm still in the middle of it, but I can... 
trill. And it's going to be a great book! Oh, I'm it's sorry, a, I... It says I'm tell! <laughs> it says, it. says T-E-L-L! -L. Blurry! I can't read it, it's blurry. Alright? Oh, the... I pissed! The oh. word you came to was trill? <laughs> Yes, he, I couldn't see where the second letter was. So Maybe I'll, I'll tell! Oh, sorry, I mean trail, I'll trail! <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> Whoa, what the fuck is happening in the next panel? What was that? What the fuck was that? I don't see anything. No, no, okay, don't worry, don't worry, just read it. Oh, I'm sorry, I fell. <laughs> it says, I, I feel. <laughs> Ah! What the fuck? What Why was a Rocky horny as hell today? What the fuck? Oh my god! <laughs> I'm so sorry, I feel... Uh... Uh... Bit faint. Like small! What? <laughs> I feel a bit... Faint from suddenly standing up. A root of me, I'll leave. Root? Final Fantasy? Oh, I feel dizzy again! <laughs> Damn, molesting, bro. What? What the fuck is happening? Are you alright, my first lady? Please leave her to us! It's fine. It's alright. It's fine, Lucy. I also like 14-year-old girls. Are you alright? <laughs> you must be tired from the traveling. You can relax. Just relax. I'm certain of it. This woman. I know for sure. Scarlet Valentine, the first lady. Likes other woman. What? <laughs> no, no, it's allowed. 